Hello, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you're hearing my voice from. This is Mama Egweji, greeting from my locality. Hope you are doing fine. My subscribers, hmm, I cannot thank you people enough. My old subscribers, hmm, when I get this handle, hmm, I thank you people so much because now because of all now, I just they go higher, higher every day in this journey of YouTube. Thank you very much. I appreciate. For the new ones, you're welcome. I appreciate also. And for those who have been watching <laughs> and they've not subscribed, they've not commented, and they've not shared. Hmm, what are you waiting for? Please hmm? subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hmm? Help to grow mama's channel. And I know how mamas they do now. Eh? Eh? So small, 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 small mama they come. So make one help me to grow this channel. Hmm? Thank you very much for your understanding. So in today's video, hmm, I'm going to talk about what I've been saying or what I've been talking about in this channel because to me it's very important because I'm a living witness and what is that that I've been talking my people it's about our health too because they say that health is what health is what wealth if you are healthy hmm? Hmm. Whether you see food or you know see food, you will be okay. But if you are sick, you will see food all around you. You cannot eat. Even the smell of the of the food, you will say, please, 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 please. You don't even want to see the you perceive the smell at all. That is why I'm doing this video. So please sit down and listen to Mama Egweji. I'm talking from what I have experienced. I'm a living witness. See you people. So let us watch this video. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back, my people. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about your health my health and the health of our children the importance of treating your children right the importance of treating your husband right the importance of taking care of what we eat in our mouth because what we eat in this mouth mostly is the cause of our health challenges so you are welcome. Sit down and watch this video. You know, in those days, our parents didn't have that opportunity to socialize, to know some of the do's and don'ts. So, me, I myself, my Miss um, Mama Egweji, since I have known what we should not do and what we should do for the welfare of our families, for the welfare of our children, ourselves and our husband and those under us and our friends. I have to share it so that others will learn. Because some people say they don't take it as anything, they are not taking it serious. But when you are sick, you know that you've done, you've not done well to yourself. You By then you will know the harm you have caused yourself, what you should have avoided as earlier, as you had it. So the bell is ringing go gang gam, gang gang gam, go gang gam, for mama Egweji to be careful of what you eat, to be careful of those things that are not good. Yes, they make you to add weight, they, they beautify your body and so on, but they're not good for you. Well, as you can see, I'm putting two dresses because the weather has changed. The weather is too cold today. You know, very cold. So I'm having two clothes just inside me now, just to protect me from cold. 
so don't mind the second cloth there now the second uh, blouse you know here yeah, it's too so cold now so please my people take care of yourselves hmm? all those food that make you too fat avoid them mm -hmm. and especially your children because they are the leaders of tomorrow if you don't take care of them now when they go they will be having different kinds of illnesses and it will not be okay for them so that thing that will happen to them in the future because of what they eat now which you their parents are giving to them so it's better you avoid it now so that they will live have a healthy living in future hmm, that is my way for you thank you my people for your understanding so Keep watching the video. Hmm? In today's video, I want to uh, stress stress about why I say stress is because I've been talking about this. What we eat in this our mouth is the cause of most problems we have. What are the problems? The problems of different type of sicknesses. Or diseases we have half of it is caused by what we put in this our mouth I have a story to tell I used to have a young girl in those days that girl uh, she's a beautiful girl a beautiful young girl you know a young girl in her in, you know she was a teenager then but beautiful the girl likes to drink tea, you know, and uh, when she drinks tea, she doesn't take it to sugar like uh, one or two in a cup. She takes 14 and she was proud to tell you uh, that she takes 14, it sweets her, she likes it. And in your phone, you will see her taking her tea with 14 cubes of sugar, sometimes five, Some, you know, she loves taking sugar, just she loves taking sugar by then i told her it's not good she, though, even by then i was ignorant i didn't know about uh, the history of sugar what it does to body but i know myself you could not i could not take such because i won't be able to drink such a thing you know tea with as much uh, as 14 or even five cubes in a cup but i was telling her no it's not good but i didn't know why i said so only that I could not take it. But do you believe me that that girl, after a while, she got married. Within four or five years, she had problem. And what was the problem? Diabetes. And that was it. The girl, she has gone already. She died because of diabetes. Why I'm saying this is because these are our youth now. I'm talking to you, young mothers. In Nigeria, I don't know the kind of juice they have now for children. In those days when I was there, they used to give uh, Nigerian mothers, most of them, that their children go to attend the daycare, uh, you know, kindergarten, some of that kind. Uh, they give them bobo, what they call bobo, and uh, other, you know, infant juice, juice for, you know, ch small, small children. It's good. To give children such a thing but hmm, minimize it i saw a mother some time ago in that same nigeria too when her baby cried she give bubble when the baby cried yeah sometimes she was she, she was proud to say that she her, bubble, her baby drinks more than four or five bottles can of a bubble in a day i was just looking at her say look at this woman though she doesn't know the kind of harm she's doing to her baby. So I'm just reaching, I'm using this now to reach out to you, young mothers, wherever you are, either in abroad or in Nigeria. Take care of your little ones. Taking care of them is not giving them juice, giving them Coke, giving them Fanta, giving them uh, whatever you may call it, whenever they cry. No. Taking care of them is when you want to give your children treats, what you people call treats, 
you want to give them one okay maybe when going to school give them water if you're a mother that gives your children water when they are going to school you just give them a bottle of water like me i'm an adult wait let me show you people in my room i always have this this is my bottle of water in my room i always feel it so at night when i feel thirsty i drink water i must drink water it's good to drink water this is better than all those juice you understand so when your child is going to school please give them water leave the juice of a thing when they come home maybe uh, in the afternoon or maybe when they want to eat at home you can give them juice fine maybe they you give them once a day don't give more than once you understand because it has after effect yes on the children people at in i mean adults the kind of sicknesses they are passing through now most of those things, the sicknesses are caused by what they ate when they were young. This is true. So I'm telling you, people, my people, with this is a message, in fact, from the abundance of my heart. I want people, my people, to live long, as long as God lives. Because God said that we human beings, He has given us at least 100 years. So people live more than 100. Here in Europe, if you, in fact, in Nigeria, you can't see, oh, oh, I mean, old people. It's rare you see old people. Eh? But in Europe, old people are everywhere. Old people, 80, 90, 100, 100. And you see them, they are very slim. In Nigeria, if you are slim, they will tell you that you are hungry. You are not eating. Nigerians will like to have a plumpy body. And that plumpy body is what is making people not to live long. Because that plumpy body is fat that causes all kinds of illnesses. So, take care of your children. Take care of your family. Stop giving them all kind of juices. At, I mean, juice is good, but please minimize how you give it to them, especially children. Take your children. Don't allow them to take too much sugar. It's not good for their health. In as much as it's not also good for you as an adult, mind the type of food you eat. Um, please, okay, this one I'm talking about uh, our parents, you know, but now I still have to talk about our parents. Yes, when I talk about our parents, I'm a mother, you understand? So I'm also inclusive in this manner, in this matter. How can you tell me that you want to give your husband a treat and then you buy beer for your husband? You buy juice for your husband? You said it's not a treat. No. If you want to give your husband a treat, please, my lovely, my lovely people, go and look for a vegetable. Look for, if you're in Europe, get spinach. Get a cucumber get a uh, uh, apple get a uh, what the, there are in europe there are many of them eh? there's a vegetable also called kale there are many of them you people know please get it garnish it make sal prepare salad for your husband prepare salad good one hmm? in that salad get a uh, you know, lemon juice get apple cider vinegar use it to dress the lemon the the the, the, the one well, what is it called i mean the the salad use it to dress it they put small antipos that's little mayonnaise you can even use olive oil to dress it and then put all these things put lemon and the vinegar mm? then you can fry chicken fry chicken for your husband just fried chicken use it to to crown it put it on top of the salad and your husband will enjoy it then if he wants wants him you know to drink some uh, liquid uh, drinks you know you can make prepared juice for him that's organic juice organic 
prepare juice, look for orange, look for pineapple, and then blend them together. If you have uh, what uh, juice, juicer, you can use juicer to juice it out, the, 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 the juice out. If you don't have it, you can blend it. After blending it, you, you I mean, sieve it and then get the juice. Put little, uh, what do you call it? Put uh, lime into it and your husband will take it and you'll be okay. Do you people, I want to ask you people a question, please, women. I'm talking about African women. I'm not talking about Europeans. Europeans are okay. They are always slim, slim. Here, lime is always in the market. They don't joke, no Europe woman or man joke with lime. They always buy it. It's always in their homes and apple vinegar. They don't joke with it. But we, we don't care. All we care is bread, uh, bovita, and milk. And all those things is problem to our body. You understand? They are good, but they are problem to our body. We don't even care about taking a green tea. All we want is the one that will make us to be big, big. And you see our husbands, we want to treat them, we give them their, their belly will begin to continue to protrude. You see your husband, you don't know whether him he is pregnant or you, the wife, is the one that is pregnant. I mean, it's not good. So this has been keeping me, in fact, into suspense because I know we are the cause of all that. You, woman, watching this video, you are the cause of your husband having protruded their stomach. Apart from those that are suffering from maybe a maybe kidney problem or liver or some of that kind, not talking about that one, but you are, your husband is not suffering from one, even it is the beer that will cause that problem. Hmm? If they must drink, let it be just small, antipope. Not every day they will spend their money. Okay, talking about cigarettes, Europeans, women, even children of 12, 13 years here in Europe smoke. But when you go to, uh, to buy cigarettes, they have different classes of uh, types of cigarettes. There are some that is, there's nothing in it just to make you feel like that. But in Africa, they don't care. They don't know which is which. They, all they know is to smoke. Whether it is harmful to their body or not, they don't care. No, my people, please, let us have a change of heart in this aspect. Let us live healthy. It is good to live healthy. If you are sick, even common malaria, I don't call it common, I'm sorry, because malaria is not even easy if you have it. Any sickness you have, you know it's not easy. So why not avoid it? Try, try the best as much as you can to avoid those sicknesses. Try your best. If you tried and then sickness comes, then you know you have tried. Eh? So all this fatty body. Today, I just came back from hospital now because uh, I felt some pains. Maybe because of the gym. I've been, you know, I've been on seven days uh, uh, weight loss challenge. So my body was paining me. Yes, when you feel that pain, you know that you really did it. I told you people I lost uh, 2 kg. So after my doctor saw me this very morning, uh, my doctor said he wants to check my, my weight. That He said last time I was uh, 89. I said yes. I said, but it's like I have added weight since we are on this second lockdown. He just laughed. He said, okay, let's check. He said I should remove my shoe. I removed my shoe and I climbed, you know. So he said, ah, that you are okay, you lose 2 kg. I said, so I laughed, I said, yes, I have been on weight loss, uh, I have been doing some gym, step gyms for one week now. And he was happy because the doctor, was when he saw me some time ago with my weight, eh, he said, madam, do something. In fact, he, was, he made me to go to La Part Fitness. He gave me that uh, address, you know. But before it was my husband that it uh, prompted me to start gym in Nigeria. But when I came here, my doctor saw my weight again. He said no. Then he gave me that address. But even without going to gym, you can do it at home with step. 
and then mind the kind of food you eat because now if it were before as we are in this second day lockdown would have added more weight because i'm a tea lover i like to drink tea and i was taking my tea in a wrong way because i was only taking bovita and milk and bread and that makes me to big you know continue to gross every day you know what i mean by gross to getting fatter every blessed day but now i don't do that i take tea but what i take now is uh, um, what i call it is uh, i mean green tea green tea yes green tea green tea is very good my people you're gonna try green tea it is good all this food we eat and the sweet sweet things they kill you sweet things eh? they kill if you want to take sweet sweet things take it with respect because of your health just for the sake of your health it's good for you to live long and i wish you people long life you know with good health in jesus name but you need to help yourself you need to do something don't be lazy don't be lazy to do exercises exercises is good for you i will continue to say this you know i will continue to talk about weight loss because i know it's good if you lose weight eh, your body will be just like a baby you feel light you can do anything you like in nigeria they will say ah, you are old you are this please who doesn't want to be old? Huh? So it's good for you to get old and then get a slimmer body. Shed that fat out. I wish you well, my people. Remain blessed. Until my next video, this is Mama Egwezi saying bye. Remember, don't joke with life. Always buy line. If you don't have, I mean, uh, yes, lemon. If you don't have lemon, you buy lime. They are all good for your body. Put it inside water, dilute it, and then drink. It shall be well with you people, my people. Remain blessed. Please, give this video a like, comment, and share. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. So that in my next video, when I post, you'll be able to receive a lot. Go on, go on. Mama Egwegi is on the line. Then you open it and watch my video. This is Mama Egwegi saying, Peace. I love you, my people, with the love of God.